The next phase of Boston's proof of vaccine requirement goes into effect today. WBZ's Nick Giovanni has everything you need to know if you live, work, or play in Boston. Signs like this one went up at businesses around Boston Tuesday morning, with the city moving to the next step of its Be Together policy. As of this morning, anyone 12 and older has to show proof they're fully vaccinated to go into a number of indoor businesses, including restaurants, museums, movie theaters, and gyms. Up until now, you only had to prove you'd received one dose if you're in that age group. But we've been requiring everybody to be vaccinated for, like I say, six, seven months now, so really is no different for us. Some businesses like Fitness and Fuel, a personal training studio in Brighton, instituted their own vaccine policy long before the city's mandate. Owner Jack Losey says he plans to keep their vaccine policy in place even after the city's COVID restrictions are lifted. For us, it's we're going to do whatever we, we need to do to stay in business. Obviously, we all know it's been a tough, tough road for gyms and the restaurant industry. So, you know, whatever we need to do to stay in business is what we're going to do. And obviously, we want to keep people healthy and safe. According to Mayor Wu, these COVID restrictions will eventually be relaxed if certain metrics continue to fall, like hospitalizations. And the positivity rate has to dip below 5%. I am optimistic things are trending in the right direction. And based on our current projections, I anticipate that all three of these thresholds will be met in the coming weeks. If restrictions haven't been lifted within the next couple of weeks, the next step of the Beat Together policy kicks in March 1st. Kids 5 to 11 will have to show proof of at least one dose of the vaccine. Reporting in Boston, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News. Massachusetts.